Right guys, we are at Derwent uh, Valley, Upper Derwent Valley. Um, we're going to hike around the dam um, where they filmed the, well, where they tested the bombs for the dam busters during the war. And they actually did the film here. I don't know if you've seen the dam busters film, they actually filmed it here. Um, so what I'll do, I will uh, do a lot of footage today, show you around here. It's another part. We was going to go up and do um, Hike Up Nick, but we didn't realise it was three hours from here. So we're not going to do that now. So I'll just show you where you are, guys. Hammock between those two trees. There's the aqueduct guys. And we're at Durant Reservoir. We're just going to do a hike. I think it's about 12 miles, I think this one. 12 miles, so. Bring you down to the water side, guys, at the dam. Here's the viaduct in the distance. There's a football there, look, Chris. Pink one. Plenty of water running through these pipes, guys. See the view over there. Bar on the trail rain that takes us in between the pipes. So the views to your left. Standing. The weather's cracking. the old in the bold. Right guys, we're just going to climb up the hill now to uh, get a better view of the dam and the reservoir. Um, I just found out the, the reservoir we just passed, Derwent Reservoir. Um, back in the early 1900s there used to be a village there. Uh, what we can gather, I think it was flooded. Um, this part of the 1900s and um, it's still there so I took some photos of the history of it um, which you will um, add in the video or maybe see it on my Instagram but yeah there's a lot of history in this area there you go so we're climbing up from the reservoir yeah, now Getting near the top, it's a bit of hard going with the heat. Like I said, great views. As you can see, I'll say I've said before, camera never does it justice. And that wind's a bit noisy, so you might not hear me. Oh, yeah, is that reservoir there?
Well guys, we're just having a break, and as you can see in the distance, plenty and plenty and plenty of water in that reservoir. And then uh, there's uh, actually a village under there, like I said before. And uh, we've got Filling Grant, just opposite us there. So yeah, we're just chilling. It's a bit windy out here, but that's what we want, because it's bloody hot today. And uh, for Big John, just like to say, this is where it's at, just so you know. Here guys, we're up on the top now, you see, the reservoir is there, the is back in the distance there. Cars. We go up to the top there, look, and then we go across and then back down. Oh, Hi, guys. We're at the top now. As you can see, 360 panoramic views. We're coming around now. <laughs> and it comes the squad. Hey, all the shaky hiking squad and the dancing queen in the back there. One direction. Yeah, one direction. Yeah. One D or one C. <laughs> Which direction are we going in? Yeah, so we're uh, so that being sat down at the campsite with the rest of the fat bush crafters. You know, as uh, as boys like to get out and hike everywhere, every chance we get. Um, we was gonna go and obviously do um, hike up Nick, but we didn't realise it was three hour drive away from here. Um, we didn't bother checking really, and when we put it in the sat nav, we thought it's too far. So we come down to Derwent uh, Reservoirs and Dams, which was only seven miles away. Um, we've hiked all around there now, so we decided to get up up into the peaks. Um, just spoke to a local farm, having a chat with them, and um, they're giving us a few tips on some of the places to visit, which we good. So uh, we're doing it nice, we can do as much as we can today, and then come back down towards the dam to where the car's parked, back to the campsite, um, off to the pub tonight. A few beers, something to eat, and then uh, tomorrow morning, get up, breakfast, and then back up here again. But I'll bring you back when we're up. We're going to do a, another bit. We might even go back across Kinder Scout and have a look at that again because um, we did do all of the it last year on the immediate area of the campsite that we hiked around. Um, so, yeah, we're just traveling now. So, I'll just here uh, leave you to have a look at some of the views, guys, and I'll bring you back a bit later. back guys you can see we've come over the top of the hill and there's the uh, reservoir again just the views are just breathtaking like I said before and I've said it many times the um, the camera and the photos don't do it justice to what we see um, and this is why we like doing everything like I said we love the bushcraft and the big camps and stuff but the hiking I mean even the off-roading is awesome as well because you get the parts where you couldn't really walk in the, the time you've got um but like i said i mean this is all in the peak district um, which is for people who are across the states and that's is northern more northern england um i bet it's quite bleak up here in the winter but when the weather's good i mean it's bloody awesome i mean that reservoir is quite low looking at it um but yeah Awesome, like I said before, I'm um, 
feel nice on my iPhone 6s which I just find it's easier so I can document all my photos from my Instagram and obviously my videos I can do from YouTube um, so much so much better um, I mean we've walked all the way down there down on the one side which is the lower part we was on we went through the woods from the early footage now we're up on the hills as you can see at the top we're on the other side now um, and yeah we're just uh, loving it and I said we've got the weather again I mean when we did Edel last year the weather was the same it was cracking and uh, that's just what makes it if you've got the right weather for this it makes it even more enjoyable Here, we've got a stride to be close to straight up. We've got a Hayden down that way, we just come from Shopton. So, we're probably going to need to do it down a fair long. So, that's what we're looking to do. I think it's about an hour and a half. So, what's the time now, you say? Oh, that gets back to the car about half five now. Be in the pub by half six. Yeah, Not that we drink or anything. Okay. Not that we drink. Guys, this is uh, Derwent Dam. We're just coming up to you now. That's where you want to go for your shower tomorrow. Yeah, you're down in there. <laughs> that water's ice cold. <sighs> so we're just bringing it to the dam now. Go to see if we can get through the trees. Out of a hike, out of warm water there. Oh, could do have a nice swim in there. A bit chilly. There you go guys, there's Durant Dam. And we're not sure if we can walk over it or not. But we're gonna go down and have a look. No, I think it's locked. Yeah, you can't walk across it. That's a shame. He's open for all. I thought he was going to open to get a walk across that, but nah, it's locked, oh, isn't it? Right. Oh. I thought he was going to walk across that and go back up then. It's a shame. Yeah. Really he needs to be on the other side of the bars, yeah, then. Yeah, Christian, behind the bars. There you go, guys. See the other side of the dam. It's a hell of a wall. Hell of a wall. There you go guys, that's a, a better view of the dam from the other side. There's actually a road that comes up round it. But behind that dam is billions of gallons of water. We're just walking our way. Down there's like an ancient woodland to the side of it, real good, like I would call it a, a Robin Hood woodland. It looks really smart. Awesome looking bench. Very substantial looking. Wayne and Jobbo in the distance, marching on, like onward Christian soldiers, or Christians soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> that right, Christian? Yeah. They're yours. <laughs> yeah.